Okay, so before I begin the video, I'm gonna make a quick shout out, of course, to Jason Snap Veron, or yeah, Veron. Jason Snap Veron, you guys could go to his channel. He has awesome content, you know, and he's a great guy. Go to his channel. Go to John Rodriguez's channel. Right, that, that guy is awesome too. And also go to Drunken Chicken's uh, TV's channel. Okay, that's Drunken Chicken TV. Okay, dr let me repeat it one more time. Drunken Chicken TV. Or you know what? I'll put it in the description down there. No, I know. But anyways, this is Derek Yasha, and I'm gonna probably sort of talk about and review the the horror movies what I got through last night, and I stayed up the whole fucking night. Okay, so you know, pretty much, uh, you know, this uh, collection that I showed before, and you know, that video that I was talking about, uh, what happened on that day or whatever. No, I know, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll sort of do a movie review on them right now. Like, uh, okay, um, you know, I already re uh, reviewed and ranked on Devil in the Flesh 1 and 2, so, you know. After that, I watched Killing Grounds, The Killing Grounds, and Diary of a Serial Killer, which, you know, uh... The Killing Grounds sucked, okay? Even though you have Anthony Michael Hall in it, no, it's it's not going to save the movie. I'm sorry, the movie just sucked ass, okay? Seriously, the movie sucked ass. All right, now, you know, I was surprised with Diary of a Serial Killer. You know, of course, that it has uh, Gary Busey in it. And, of course, the film is about this murderer that goes and kills women, and he gets off on it, of course. Like, he gets pleasure out of it. No, I know. Um, mainly, uh, the other movie that I watched, of course, was, uh, let me see, I think, uh, Nana, or whatever the fuck that, that movie's name was. No, I know, it was, it was nothing that great. Okay, really, it was really nothing that great, okay? It was just your 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 tip of the mill, like, the eye, basically, but except that it's about this blind Hindu girl, and of course she gets uh, her eyesight from surgery, and of course that, uh, you know, she starts seeing weird things. No, I know, but the movie was okay, it was nothing that great. No, I know, and the one that that is the most stupidest movie I ever saw in my life, of course, is Evil Behind You, okay? Yeah, where is it, where is it? Right there, if you could see it, Evil Behind You. No, I know, but pretty much the movie is about, of course, that, you know, just fucking stupid, okay? Oh, the, they hook they hook these two guys up to this machine, and of course that they're seeing demons and shit. The acting is god awful, man. Seriously, like I don't know how to fuck to explain it to you. And oh, they're saying that th this is a Christian movie. Okay, seriously, you put a Christian movie with you know horror movies that have nudity and you know cursing in there. Yeah, seriously, like, I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they were putting this on this horror collection, but still, you know, I'm just saying, though, like, it was really a terrible movie. The cinematography was terrible, the visuals was terrible, the acting was terrible. Okay, let me just mention one part, okay? Uh, the girl has a flashback to when she went to her uncle's uh, grave site, and of course she was crying. Uh, you know, the actress was not crying no tears, okay? Um, let me just explain something to you like this. Okay, for, um, Henry Thomas to cry tears in E.T., real tears. Now, that is a lot better than what this bitch was doing in the movie. Seriously. 
and the acting was just like, yeah, you know, terrible. The even the writing, the dialogue, believe me. Okay, maybe I'm gonna cha challenge Helsing nine twenty to watch the movie. I'm dead serious about this. After I do this and upload it to YouTube. I'm going to go straight to Helsing 920's channel and, you know, request that he wa watches Evil Behind You. Because I want to see what his reaction is on the movie. You know? But for me, I was just busting out laughing through the whole movie. And pretty much, it's terrible. Now, you know, I got other movies to watch. You know, maybe uh, The Fear. And, of course, The Other Side, and Night Feeders, and, of course, Within the Rock, which OCP Communications reviewed, you know, so I already know that Within the Rock is already a good movie. So, you know, I'm not looking forward to the, the other three movies, though, for real. I'm not looking forward to them, because, um, you know, if The Other Side is pretty much uh, cheap dog shit, then I don't know. And if the fear is cheap dog shit, then I really don't know. Okay, and if Night Feeders is some kind of bullshit alien movie where they're eating fruits and vegetables, then I really don't know. See, because uh, this 12-pack is weird. And so far, what movies I'm only liking on here is, you know, The Ice Cream Man, and, of course, Diary of a Serial Killer. Okay, the rest of the movies were just like, you know, will. You know. Yeah, but I think Within the Rock will be good because I seen a review for, from it from OCP Communications, Mike. No, you know, I'm just not look. Um, I'm telling the truth. I'm not looking forward to the other three movies because uh, pretty much... You know, um, Devil in the Flesh was an okay movie. Devil in the Flesh 2 is the worst thing I think I've seen on here. And Jack Frost 2. And stuff like that. But no. Um, mainly probably tomorrow or something. You know, I'm, I'm going to re review these, uh, all the, this tomorrow and review the pack as well. You know. But yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's it, man, seriously, because I don't have nothing else to talk about other than, you know, you have just terrible movies and maybe so somewhat uh, three good movies on here. Okay, I'll see, but yeah, I'm out. Peace.